Well, today we're going to be talking about how I got good at art in one year and so how you can get good at art in one year. So we're just going to jump right in. The very first thing I'm going to tell you is I started not very good, but also not very bad. I started at about a halfway level between like can draw a stick figure like an eight year old and like okay this person's pretty decent and like draws anime on DeviantArt, that kind of thing. That's where I was. I was in high school and I was so afraid that I wasn't going to make money as an artist even though it was the thing that I loved and I had teachers telling me like why aren't you applying to art schools, why aren't you applying to art schools but I went to a high achieving high school with like genius kids that went to Harvard and Stanford so I went no bitch I'm going to do marine biology which is safe so I went to like the best marine biology school in California turns out you can't make it as a marine biologist if you don't actually like marine biology so I got there, I was miserable, I went to one class and I was like, bitch, no! I ended up researching uh, art schools at that time, found out about CalArts, and decided that I was going to get in at no matter what, whatever cost. So how did I do it? I was about um, 18 at the time, and I, between the ages of 19 and 20, I finished high school, I mean college, when I was 19. And so after that I moved to France for a year to like look at art. I didn't draw a thing because I was so paralyzed by my own fear. I don't recommend that. If you ever end up in Paris and you are in museums all the time, I highly recommend drawing and getting over your own shit. <laughs> so I was there. It didn't do shit for me except give me an appreciation and make me realize like, okay, I found myself. Like, okay, I'm going to be an artist. I came home and day one, hit the ground running, I was studying like a motherfucker, like you've never seen. I was in my room constantly, I didn't leave, I ate in my room, I didn't sleep, I was just studying constantly, right? Like, morning until night. I did crayon portraits of myself, I did like studies of my webcam in the mirror and like a little contact solution bottle. Um, I was drawing gesture drawings from like Pixelovely and like figure drawing sites online, that kind of thing. By the way, a tip for figure drawing, don't draw from figure drawing sites like that because whoever's going to be evaluating whatever portfolio you have, they've seen all those gestures before, to be honest. So what you want to do is, I ended up watching, I don't watch her anymore, um, Glitter, Hello My Spark, Glittery, Sparkly, Sparkles, um, Louise and her baby, uh, Darcy. I would watch those videos at that time and pause on Darcy, I'm sorry Louise, I would pa pause on Darcy and like do drawings of the baby. I'll insert one at some point. But you want to pause videos or even just watch them and train your eye to get faster and do gesture drawings that way. I also worked at a daycare this time, so I did a lot of gesture drawings of children. But basically, I was studying constantly. And you want to go for, like, at the beginning, maybe 40% input and 60% output. So if you're starting from zero, Andrew Loomis's Art books, they're all online and they're all gold. Start with that. There's Vilpu, like, books that you can read. A guy called Bridges, I think, that you can read. Just look up art books and there's a fuck ton. There's one called Drawing on the Left Side of the Brain that will teach you about how to actually draw from observation instead of from symbols and your brain, you know, like, filling blanks in for you, which is, if you're not good at drawing, you're not good at seeing. That's the problem is you have to train your eye, not your hand. You have to train your hand too, but your eye is the thing that's translating for you. So flip your images upside down and draw them that way. Not trace, but like actually draw them because it'll teach you how to see shapes instead of lines. So you want to be doing stuff like that. And so here's the other thing that I was doing is I was doing studies constantly and then drawing something that I wanted to draw and then testing again a couple months later to see how far I'd gotten. So I would draw the same thing with to the best of my ability and I would always find that I had increased. And there was one month between January and February of I think 2013, I'll insert here, where my skill level jumped like five steps in a month. And I remember that day drawing this one drawing and thinking to myself like, holy fuck, what happened? I must have done that by accident. So I drew another and it was just as good. And I remember thinking like, fuck, this is going to wear off by the end of the day. So I did a lot of drawings and it didn't wear off by the end of the day. I had just leveled up substantially in a month, like to no degree that I'd ever seen from myself before. I mean. And that had come from processing and studying and then trying to apply the knowledge that I'd learned. So you want to start with basics and I mean I took one art class once and quit after the third day because they were trying to make me draw spheres and cubes and I was like bitch I can already draw anime I'm too good for this shit 
Every art class that you ever go to, they're gonna make you draw spheres and cubes. And you gotta do that shit, fam. You gotta start with perspective, you gotta start with your basics and your foundations. Because if you don't, I skipped it. You don't wanna skip it. I don't understand the forms of a face. I can draw them, but I don't understand them. So don't be like me, because now I have to draw spheres and cubes after like eight years pursuing an artistic career. So basically, what you gotta be doing is sitting in your room or taking an hour, taking a lunch break. I drew like on my lunch breaks between classes a lot of the time or early in the morning, late at night after I finished my essays. Because of course, like graduating college at 19, I had a very overloaded schedule. So I was doing essays until like 11 at night and then taking an hour or two to draw and study. And it's because I really loved it. So whatever it is, if you really love it, it could be losing weight, working out, getting buff, gaining weight, training your dog, getting good at yoga, whatever, getting good at art or music or whatever. Whatever it is, if you really like it and have an interest in it, you'll make time for it. So if you really want to get good at art in a year, make the time and you will get good in a year. You will see results. Trust me, fam. I got into CalArts with the character animation program with a 3% acceptance rate after studying for one year. Like, no formal training, no, like, interest in art, like, previously, aside from just, like, a passing hobby interest. You can really do it. I swear you can do it. You just need to actually do the work. So you want to start with 40% input, 60% output, and then level it away. So the more that you know, I mean, always be learning, but eventually ramp it down to like 20% input and 80% output. And I don't mean like less than the amount that you're learning, I just mean increase the amount that you're doing until you feel like you can't fucking do it anymore. And if you get an art block, keep going because the only way through an art block is through if you sit there for three months you're still going to have the same amount amount of drawings to get through to unblock yourself as if you just kept drawing in those three months anyways so say you hit a block and there's 10 drawings until you're out of the block if you wait three months there's still going to be 10 drawings there just because you're inspired to get through those 10 drawings now doesn't mean you couldn't have gotten through them in like a couple days if you had just kept going so that's one of the biggest lessons that I had to learn is art blocks are you being lazy fam, I'm just gonna say it. I'm not trying to drag you, you know that. I'm just telling you, work through your art blocks and your blocks in general. Take some time, I mean, be nice to yourself, but like, be honest with yourself too. So you just wanna be studying, you wanna be reading your art books, you wanna be learning as much as you can, Watch videos online, trace, if you want to, trace artists that you love, start a Pinterest board, keep like, a, I have an art to aspire to and an art reference board, so like, for some of them I say tutorials, for the other ones I say just like, artists that I love. Trace the artists that you love, print them out, hang them over your room, and then just like, glean that, absorb it, take from it. Some artists that I really love are like, Charles Schultz, Bill Watterson, Kate Beaton, and Sargent. Uh, I also really like Gustave Corbet. Um, he's the one who has the painting of the guy like, it's himself. So <laughs> he also painted it just a flat out, just vagina. And like, small sidebar, uh, the reason he painted the, virgi the vagina, the vagina, and he called it L'Origine du Monde, the origin of the world, because somebody else point painted like a risque, thing called the origin of the world or something and then he painted the vagina as like a fuck you this track type thing he also somebody painted girl with a parrot and Corbett was like i can do it better and he painted a naked lady with a parrot Corbett's boss like there's some drama in the french artist i can tell you about it sometime because i learned a lot when i was in france honestly just nothing about my own art that was a side note basically if i haven't been inserting studies and stuff that I did over that year, I'll insert them all now, but it's really that easy. You just gotta output, 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 and then you'll get it. It's cool, fam. Kick your own ass, make a schedule if you have to, but get into the habit. It takes 40 days to make a habit, not 21 like we thought. It takes 40. So just make a habit of it. Draw every single day and a lot every single day, and don't be nice to yourself. Be nice to yourself in the way that you push yourself 
because you know it's what you want and you know that you can commit to it. Don't be nice like, oh, I can take a break today. Because you can, but is that really being nice to yourself when you know where you're going, where you're trying to get to? So that's that. That's my tips for you today. Okay, thank you for watching my video. Thank you for being here. Until next time, remember to recycle, love your neighbor, and take a meatless Monday, bitch. Okay?